Hello, in this video we're going to look at solving equations using the Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. We're going to start by looking at solving them in the run matrix mode. To do so, um, press option, then F4 for calc, and then we could use F1 for solve, and then we can enter our equation, let's say 3x plus 5. Uh, to get equals, we have to press shift and then the point, 0, and then we can say we want to solve for x and execute, and it gives us an answer. But let's see what happens when we enter a, a quadratic. x squared plus 2x, I don't know, subtract 5, 0, solve for x. By the way, x is this key here. We only get one solution, but what if we want the others? Quadratics should always have two solutions. Uh, they may not always be real, but Two solutions. For this, we must use solve n, f5. We enter the same equation. And solve x. You get this warning message, we click exit, and we now get our set of both solutions. Now, the solve, with solve n, we can actually take some shortcuts. We can remove the comma x there, and it will just assume that we're solving for x. We can even remove the equals zero and it'll assume that's what we want to solve for. This can be useful, for example, if you're looking with, at trigonometric functions, which um, can have multiple inputs give the same output. For example, sine of x equals 0 0.5. After loading for a bit, we now have a set of many different solutions, each of which equals 0 0.5, or sine of each of these equals 0 0.5. But what if we want them within a specific range? Well, we can do that too. Using this feature, once, uh, solve n once again, we can set up our same equation. Now we have to include the comma x so that we can include more uh, information after this. We're then going to set a lower bound, let's say 0, and an upper bound, let's say 360. Execute, click exit, and here we go, just a handful of solutions. We can also use the dedicated equation mode, here. I'm going to start by looking at the polynomial solver. We select the degree of the polynomial. Uh, that is the largest power of x that we have. So for example, quadratic is degree 2, cubic is degree 3. We'll look at a cubic. You then enter your coefficients. The things in front of the x cubed, x squared, x, and also the constant here, d. So 3x cubed plus 5x squared plus 2x uh, plus 8. We then click F1 for solve. And it's given us two, uh, our three solutions. In this case, two of them are complex. So if you're doing regular maths um, at A level, you can ignore them. If you're doing complex math, uh, further maths then this would be of interest to you and you can change let's say we we'll make that a nine this time and get all our different solutions and then you could use a higher degree and some in you don't have to fill them all in and you still get an equation with some solutions in this case five solutions this is zero we can also use f3 for solver and this lets us enter a more general equation. For example, from earlier, sine of x equals 0 0.5. Clicking F5 for solve gives us a solution. We can also solve simultaneous equations using this. Press F1. We then have to select the num number of unknowns. For example, if we have 2x plus 3y equals 5, and 3x plus 4y equals 7. I don't actually know if that would have any solutions, just using it as an example. Um, that's, yes, it would. Um, that would, has two unknowns. So, we can now enter in our equation. So, as you can see, it's in this form up here. For our first, we'll have 5x plus 6y equals 7. No, our bottom one here, we'll have 3x plus 4y equals 5. We click solve. 
and we get our two solutions. Now let's have a look at um, three unknowns. Let's say we only have two equations with three unknowns. Let's see what happens then. Just enter in some random numbers, and we click solve. In this case, we have infinitely many solutions, and it in fact tells us how we can calculate those solutions. Very usually telling us that z, z is z. Okay, I hope you found this useful.